Hello everyone. Welcome to Advanced Real World Hacking with Practical Videos course. I'm your course instructor Snehil and the topic for this lecture is backdooring Android apps for fun and profit. This course will help you understand how hackers hack into victims phone to steal all information and control phone remotely. The course is divided into two parts. In the first section we will learn how to generate a malicious Android app using Metasploit to hack into victim's phone. In the second section, we will cover how to backdoor almost any Android application available on Play Store or elsewhere for hacking victim's phone. Let's go to the demonstration part. Go to Kali Linux machine and open the terminal. In first section, we will see how to generate a simple malicious Android app using Metasploit. We will make use of MSF Venom tool to generate the malicious app. Type in MSF Venom with the option H to check out the different options available within MSF Venom. You can explore, explore all of these different options for your personal understanding. Now let's see how to generate malicious Android app using MSF Venom. Metasploit has payload for different platforms. Since we are targeting Android, we will make use of Android Metapreter reverse TCP payload which will give you shell access of victim's phone upon successful attack execution. Let's see how to generate the payload. We'll type in MSF Venom with the option PP stands for payload. And we will use Android Metapreter Reverse TCP Payload. The Android Metapreter Reverse TCP payload will initiate a reverse TCP connection from the victim's phone to the attacking Kali Linux machine controlled by you. Now we need to provide some of the other options such as lhost. lhost is the IP address where you want to receive the connection from victim's phone. Since we want to receive the connection on this machine, we will type in the IP address of this machine. Let's take a look at the IP address of this machine. This is the IP address of the machine. Type in the IP address. Now we'll make use of another option which is L port. An L port is the port on which you will be listening for the connection on the Kali machine. We'll type in 44. You can choose any port. Now, piece of advice here. In case you want to use public IP address in order to target victims which are not in the same network, you can use public IP address in place of lhost section. Also, you need to perform port forwarding in your router for the specified port if you're planning to use public IP address here in the lhost section for targeting victims which are not in the same network. Since the victim that I will be targeting is in the same network. I'm using the private IP address, which is the machine of this, which is the IP address of this machine. Now let's provide a couple of more options and generate the payload. We want the payload to be placed in desktop. We, you can choose another directory here, but I'll choose desktop. You can also choose the name of application which you want to create. I'll choose 
the name as game.apk. Let's check again if everything is set right. Looks great. Let's hit enter. And it will generate the payload in few seconds. Now the payload has been generated successfully and is available on the desktop as game.apk. Now we have the malicious app ready and we need to start the Metasploit handler to receive the shell access of victim's phone. Let's see how to do it. Type in MSF console to load the Metasploit framework. It will take a couple of seconds to load the framework successfully. And then we will see how to set up multi-handler to receive shell access of victim's phone once the victim successfully install the generated app on its phone and open the app. Metasploit has loaded successfully. Now let's see how to set up multi-handler. Use exploit multi-handler. Handler has loaded. Now we will set the payload for handler. We will use the same payload which we had used while generating the payload. We'll also set the lhost option and provide the same IP address. We'll set L port and provide the same IP address. In case you're using public IP address, you can provide in the public IP address here. And also you need to do the port forwarding in your router for the port specified here. Now everything is set at this point of time and we need to start the handler. We'll use exploit option for that and hit enter. As you can see, the reverse handler is listening on the IP address of this machine at port 4444 specified by you. At this point, the attacker is ready to receive the shell access of victim's phone. All he has to do is trick the victim into installing this app on his phone. Now let's see how to do it. One way is to directly send this apk file to the victim through mail and ask him to install the new game and he will do it i'll show you another way where you can host this apk file on an apache server controlled by you and you can provide the ip address or the url from where victim can download the apk file let's go to the root desktop directory here we can see our game.apk file let's copy it to the where www.html directory which is the apache directory for hosting files now we have successfully copied the file let's just take a look in the where directory Here it is, just remove the default index.html file and we will start the Apache service. Now everything is set at this point of time. For the sake of demonstration, I will be using Android emulator to showcase how the attack executes on victim's phone which is in the same network or connected to the same access point in which the attacker is also connected. In the real world scenario, you will have to trick the victim into installing the app on their phone for this attack to work. Now let's see how it happens on victim's phone. This is the victim's phone. Now victim can access the IP address 
on which the file is being hosted. Here you can see the game.apk file is being hosted. And we will download the game.apk file or the victim will download the game.apk file. You can trick the victim somehow to download this file and install it. I will, leave, I will leave this up to you on how to be creative and lure the victim. Now the file has been downloaded. Let's go to the download section. And we have the game.apk file. We will install it. Go to next. Install. And the, got, and the app got installed. Now at this point, victim would like to play the game or open the app so the moment he'll open the app he won't see anything or probably see a main.activity screen or the GUI of the app but at this point you have successfully hacked into victims phone and you have the very rewarding Metapetra shell open for you. This is a full-fledged Metapetra shell through which you can access or perform any operation on victim's phone. Now let's see some of the operations available within Metapetra. You can type you can type in help and see the available options. There are multiple options. I will leave this up to you to explore all the different options. You can perform variety of operations like you can download, you can create new directories on the victim phones, you can search, you can upload a file, you can execute a command. You can drop into a system command shell. Let's do a system for command and I'll show you some of the interesting command after that. As you can see, the operating system is Android 4.4. .4. Now at this point you might be interested in stealing user contacts of the victim so we can use this option dumb contacts for that you can also steal call logs you can also dump sms's from the victim's phone you can also check where the victim phone is positioned you can use geologate for that you can record the mic you can also get a picture of the victim from his phone. You can do a web webcam stream, play a video stream from the specified webcam. Very powerful stuff here. Now let's see if I want to dump the call log of the victim. Now let's use this command. No call log entries were found. Let's go to the victim's phone and make a call. One, two, three, dial. Now let's see again by dumping the call log. And one entry was found. And the call log was saved to this file. which you can find in the root directory. I'm going to do a cat, call log. Here you can find all the information. This is the victim's IP address. And the number on which the call was made is 123. It was an outgoing call and stuff like that. As you can see how powerful this metapetra shell is and you can opt on almost any information from victim's phone. I hope 
you enjoyed watching this now we will be covering the section 2 of this course which is backdooring almost any Android application available on Play Store or elsewhere let's get into the this part and I will leave this up to you to explore the different options once you have the Metropodrusial access of victim's phone.